Hello, welcome to the third part of our S code card tutorials. Today, you will learn how to automatically initiate a build, run test, or deploy when a PR is created. As a solo developer, your workflow can be straightforward since there are no PR reviews. You are aware that you are a solo contributor and you want to run unit tests every time the branch changes. However, in the team setting, this process can potentially slow down development as every time a developer pushes a code, they may need to wait to see the result. Additionally, with numerous of branches and developers, it incurs costs. Therefore, it's a good idea to automate testing or building when the PR is created. In the multi-developer team, each person typically works in a different branch. After completing a task, you will create a PR and wait for your tech lead to review. With Xcode Cloud, we can set out triggers for unit test run, allowing the tech lead or you to check if all testers have passed. Once everything checks out, we can proceed to deploy and merge it into a beta or a beam branch. Then deploy to test flight for internal or external testing, which you will learn about it in the upcoming lesson. Let's begin by creating a workflow that runs testers when the PR is created. You can start by using the provided starter project. The link is provided below. In the project, we are currently at the main branch. Let's create a new branch called Feature 2. Check out the Feature 2. Now, Let's do some clean out in the workflow. If you have been following along since part 1 of the lessons, go to Show Report Navigator, Cloud. On the bottom left, select Merge Workflow. Let's delete the old workflow by clicking on the workflow, click on the minus sign, and delete. Do the same thing for the distribute app. Oops. We should create a new workflow first, then delay this old one because we can't have nothing in the workflow. Click app, select your product, and give it a name. environment as default. For start condition, let's create a new one so we can delete these branch changes. Click the add button, pull request changes, then go ahead and delete the branch changes. Click on the trash icon. For PR, our goal is to run unit tests when there's a PR to the main branch. Therefore, our source is any branch, target is custom branch, click plus, type min, add the actions, save it, delete the distribute app workflow. Let's change some code or comments. Commit the changes. As you can see, the UI has changed because this is Xcode 15, unlike the previous recording. Stage all changes. Type commit message.
Where's commit? There should have a push button for you to push. Probably there is some issue of my part. Go to integrate then click push. Yes, my GitHub token had expired. Let me fix this and we can push the code to GitHub. Once pushed, we can go to GitHub and create a new pull request. Click on pull request. Compare this feature to to mean. Once it's created, it should trigger the workflow and run the build and test. Wait for a while as the status can be seen in GitHub. You can also see it on Xcode. Once done, go back to GitHub and see all jets have passed. Select show all jets which you can see in details what was run. Thank you all for today and I hope you found this helpful. In the next lesson, we will learn how to send the app to internal or external testers.